Hello everyone and welcome back to our Eden burning scenario. What a beautiful island this really is. A little paradise as you might say. And yeah, this paradise though is pretty harsh. Those people here, they know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about, of course, about aliens. Well, not really. I'm talking about eco-balances and, well, a dam project and stuff like that that really matters to us here on this island. And boy, it matters. Right now, I do have a bit of a problem there as, well, demand is going up pretty quickly. We do need 900 obreros. We do need steel beams. We do need bricks. And for the bricks, I already have my first problem. That's the clay pit. It's running out of clay. Let's get rid of that. A clay pit without clay is no clay pit anymore. I didn't know even the clay pits can run out. We do need another warehouse over here. And with that, we are also going to have another clay pit once more. I do have beside this one, only uh, that one, and that's it. So these are the last bricks that I can get because I think there's also no item that can replenish the clay pits. I haven't found it yet. And there's also no button like this one here, replenish the resources. So we might be in for a problem there if I take too long, I think. Next up is my air balance. It's at plus 11 right now. That makes it possible for us to activate Return the furnace um, that we will need now for the steel beams. And by the way, some of you have suggested I could go ahead here with planting these palm trees. And that is actually quite right. I don't know though if this is intentional or a bug, if I would be cheating with that. Because there is a very good reason why we do get these very expensive blueprints that we have to use in order to reforest. So why should it be possible for just a tiny bit of money plant these trees, right? So this whole thing here only cost me 8,000. I have 400,000, so I could just plant these trees everywhere if I want to and thus completely negate my air problem. I don't think this is intentional. I think this is a bug, so I'm not going to use it. I'm not exploiting my way through that scenario here. If you're using that, that's good for you, but I think it makes it completely obsolete the air balance there so it doesn't make sense to me right it would reduce or it completely would negate the challenge that you get out of this one here instead uh, we can focus on getting more of our manuals or whatever it is they are giving us with that we I'm could then continue with better. going ahead here with um our well items that we need for that field test is one of them the soil sampler or the advanced soil sampler i need to get out there right now um, I think last time I checked, it was rather expensive. 10 corn and one of these manuals. I don't think we have any manuals anymore. Nope, we don't. And also, my frigate doesn't have anything like that. My flagship here, by the way, which is looking like a frigate. It is still out there um, exploring the islands that we have around here. So we do have, well, a couple of islands there still. Um, none of them has any ruins left over, though. This one here is locked, so there might be something, an item or something like that that we need for this. Other than that, I have exploited now all the islands around us, right? So some of them gave us building materials. Some of them gave us items for missions. But that's basically it as far as I can see. This one has also been scavenged already. And yeah, there's nothing else here. So as long as we don't find any other island, I might actually have to come an end here with the exploration around us. Now, yes, the fish farms. This is actually one of my major things right now. Um, the fish farms do take silo, and silo is being used with corn. Let's go ahead and have the silo here for this fish farm. We do have corn after all, and quite a lot of that too. Um, here, I will need to get rid of this one, and I'm going to place this one here so we are able to squeeze in the next silo. And with the silo, I think once it's activated... It will boost it. This lumberjack hut here is now completed, right? So there is nothing that we can do here. And instead, I'm going to have my trade union. Like here. But only in blueprinted mode for now. And then we can go ahead because I have still two more uh, fish or aqua farm blueprints available, right? And we would like to use them, of course. One here and one here. This should actually be working out. So let's just try this one. Uh, it's always so tight here, space-wise. We do have a couple of problems there. Yeah, but this is working out because then we still have the room here for the silo. And the same thing I can do then up here as well. Very good. This is kind of like working and I can still squeeze it in because I would really like to keep the trade union there. We do have some items for these aqua farms and that's, I think, animal farms, right? So animal farms can be used for that. 
um, and with the animal farms we could then use um, something like boosting it. Where are my an 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 animal farms? There they are, the supplements, right? And with those we could boost our fish farms, but also their equal quality impact, plus 20%, which is actually good for the aqua farms, because they're having a positive Eco balance effect, right? And, and this is getting side, boosted boss. by that. Let's we'll get, get my flags back home. Fancy. They don't need these very strange manuals, right? So they don't need that. And we can just go ahead with them um, if we want to. One minus one right now. We're still on the way here for the Perforian generator. And yep, the steel beams are coming in. I can also, okay, and I should probably activate us a second, a second brick factory that we can have over here then to speed it up a bit. And also, by the way, we have these forester huts here, right? They are growing the trees. They are permanent. They're not going away. So I think it is actually viable of having a lumberjack hut next to a forester hut. And they're boosting each other, right? So the one, the lumberjack hut is cutting down the trees while the, the forester hut is actually planting them once more. So this should actually be working out. And thus we get an infinite supply of logs into our area. So this is a nice... Um, well, a nice bonus of having these, right? So as I can also see, both of them are getting maximum efficiency here, 100% by doing that. Of course, air quality is not super cool with that now, but still, it is a nice uh, middle ground that we can have there. Now, with all these additional silos, I'm pretty sure that I need another corn farm. We have two of them for now, but a third one might actually be quite fine um let's so just try nice. there we have what is that actually that is plantains perfect so let's go ahead and have the corn plantation next to it as yeah well they're boosting it uh it themselves uh, or each other so there we have the next one and i might just put it here um in hindsight now i should probably more look at how many trees i would destroy with uh, planting one of these here right that is something that we should be looking out for <laughs> Because I really don't want to go below that anymore for the, the air quality. Now the corn farm is working the next one. Very important because with that we can boost our fish farms. And fish is really, really rare in this game. Uh, with all these fish farms, we're still not really making a lot of it. Now it's good to know that the fish farms here, are, or the aqua farms, are actually not being affected by fodder supplements. So animal farms. In Well, actually, quite literally, these are animal farms. And yet, it doesn't really count for that. That's a bit disappointing there. So, nothing works with that. Because the fishery items also don't work with them. And the normal crop farms also don't work with them. So, nothing works with these fisheries there. These aqua farms. A bit disappointing there. Because, theoretically, it would make sense to use it for that. Well, you can't have everything. Anyway, with all the silo boosting there as well, we are actually looking quite fine now with the fish. At least there is some positivity. And I think, yes, we can upgrade a more a more people to Abraeros. And we should be doing that while we can. Because we need them for the dam project after all. So let's go ahead, upgrade a couple of them. There you go. At least until we are slightly negative there with the Honolores. I can still go ahead and build a few more of them though. Um, to get the workforce back in. And we have unlocked now a few more additional products there. The oil refinery if we need to. That is by the way reducing the water quality level. Um, and also um, we have the tortillas here. That is something the obreros want. By the way the tools I can activate now for them as well. Because we do have a good tools production. And tortillas would be the other thing. So this is pretty important to boost the obrero workforce that we have. So we already have cattle farms. One of them is deactivated. And we already have the corn farms. Right, and I think corn-wise, we are looking pretty good. Plus two there, perfect. And even this one here is having a surplus already, the cattle farm. So we could actually just build the tortilla maker. Unfortunately, it does need honaleros there. So we do need to have a couple more of them in my village. And here we do have the space for that. So there you go, for a couple more of them. This, of course, will once again now reduce my fish consumption or increase my fish consumption um there we need to be a bit careful uh finally a easy quest once more so we only need to collect this dolphin here um with the ship the either or the oh we need to click on that how very good and that's the two well um herbariums that we need 
we have enough Connellaris. So I would like to go ahead now and have my first Tortilla Maker. We do need one Tortilla per minute right now. This one is producing two per minute. So that should be golden. Let's build it here right next to our, well, other production chains that we already have. And I will need another warehouse then in this area too. There's, by the way, the reforestation that I'm going to keep here. We could also have then one of our lumberjack huts in this area. And let's just check the other ones. This one here. And look at that. It gets enough trees. And there's always enough trees here in the area, even with the lumberjack hut. So this is perfectly working together. Make a decision. Chronic malnutrition. We do get a bad event here. No idea why. And they all look terrible. Minus 50% for factories. Which is... Well, I guess lasting for quite some time now. Is it affecting all of my factories? Shade, I think it's affecting all of my factories. And for how long? Okay, it's not affecting my productions over here though. And that's it. But how long does it now work? I'm calling bull on this effect. Malnutrition. My people have everything. Plantain, fish. My obreros have fish and now tortillas as well coming in. They already have the drip. There is nothing else food-wise that would actually cause something like that. And we do get this malnutrition effect, I what think, permanently. Here, I think it is there now for minus 50% on top of everything. And it's just going to stay now. Because there's no time limit on that. There's no quest that I could counter it. It seems to be there, and this is completely disrupting one of, a few of my trade routes. First of all, fish is now permanently at minus four. That means I need to turn down fish for my obreros, otherwise I cannot get this one back up working anymore um, or being stable. Tools and workload is now permanently at minus one. I need to increase Get that production here, causing more air pollution. So let's activate my second tool factory now that I've prepared for this. But still, this is a bit strange. Like, this just seems to be an effect on top of it to have an effect on top of it because there was no malnutrition for my people. Anyway, we still need to counter this one. We have the alpaca wool. That means probably for the alpaca farm that I have over here, I will need a second one of these. Um, let's just check this one out. Ah, it's actually a plus two. Perfect. So that's that's still working despite the productivity um, penalty that we have there. So I can have my work cloth production over there as well. But I think now the cattles will definitely be negative then. Because cattles is being used now for two more factories since the tortilla maker also needs that. Right. But very, very, very strange events that we have there. At least the aqua farms are not being affected, because if they were affected, I think this would have been the end of the game now. At least we can now get rid of the Perforian generator, so off it goes. And with that, we do get some steel beams, coppers, and also some reinforced concrete, the first ones out of that. And this will massively now boost our air generation. So at least island health-wise, we're in a very good um, area right now. This also opens up a lot of additional Hornalaris that we can upgrade, so we should be doing that over here right so as many as we can really because we do need these obreros there you go now to counter the negative impact i'm going to have an advanced perforian calcinate calciner so this is productivity 50 percent increased but eco quality impact is also increased by 10 percent 10 percent doesn't sound that much though we could also go with the higher version of it right so we do have this one here productivity is 100 percent but eco quality impact is plus 20 percent i think this is a, a good payoff actually because right it doubles the productivity for only 10 percent more pollution which does sound okay to me we also have the forester hut here so to boost our tree planters if we want to heavy industry another boost that we can have here quality impact is then minus 20 percent so we could already afford this one too um for our industry why actually not right because we have all these industries here air quality is though pretty fine so we can just go ahead and boost it massively um to get this one out no problem about the eco drop that we have out of that so let's get this one over to my foresters or to my industry and there we have it another boost now it's really just a boost that counters more or less the the malnutrition effect that we have there which of course doesn't make sense to me this effect absolutely doesn't make sense to me now the 50 percent does not of course how could it be any different does not affect the drip coffee pot so this one here is completely on its own i will probably need a second one here if i want to keep my coffee pots and this is another 150 obreros that I would have to spend. That is not something I can do, really. Um, 
What I could do though is I could get this communal garden. This one reduces the needs for fish, plantain, strip coffee pot, atoll and tortillas by 10%. Um, let's go ahead and get this one for the town hall or for the town center. You can rely on us. And there you go, right in the center of it all. And it's getting, it's affecting most of the obreros and the, the honaleros. And with that, at least the fish and the coffee pot is now stable. At least that is something um, for what we need. And I think plantain is also affected by that. That is now stable too. Poo. Yeah, we are at 750 obreros. For now, my economy is a bit stable, so we can still focus on one more good, and that should then bring us the 900 that we need for the dam project. Fishes, I'm going to de let deactivated for now for the obreros, because it's just, we can't get the fish up there. Fedora, Weaver, we need for that. For that, we do need the alpaca farm, the felt producer, and for the felt producer, we need the alpaca farm. I'm already producing, uh, having a surplus of two per minute. This is exactly how much the felt producer is consuming, so we can have this one and then i only need the palm tree plantation that has a ratio of one to one with the fedora weaver so having this one all together here actually would probably enable me already this um final production that we need for my obreros there we go and then i have one of these palm trees here and this should be just as much as we need besides the aqua farms that we have over there perfect production has started at least there is no malnutrition effect but here it is the minus 50 so we actually need to double this production right um but that also means that the consumption is halved only this one is oh it's also only producing at minus 50 percent i can still afford a second felt producer though that i'm going to add here and then i'm going to have a second fedora weaver that we will need to have here i'm still having the 100 percent on the planters there so that's fine and now they have the connection, they have the connection, and the palm tree should be actually providing for both Still of them. For it to okay, we have now almost everything, so the Brero workforce is now completed as well. Let's start the phase on... Oh, let's start the building on phase two. So the dam project is continuing now. Also, all the ruins here are gone, so we can flood this terrain safely everything here yep is looking rather good i mean it's still looking quite dirty isn't it they left over quite a lot of stuff what did they actually work on just the structures seems like it and this is going to take a while now of course we are lacking 18 obreros but that is fine because i think we have now the coffee pots in again perfect that we can activate for my obreros and with that this should get positive now for sure there it is in all its glory and let's just check our economy it's looking good for now right so everything here is positive that needs to be positive or at least neutral so for now we can really just safely wait um until we do need to continue here with the dam because i think we will still have a third phase that is going to have it quite in it and there it seems like we finish the next phase perfect and with that let's finish it off it goes to well now it's looking quite nice isn't it and now we just now. need to start on the third one and of course as expected it's going to be tricky once more we do need 1500 obreros so this is our grind by now that we do need to get more and more of them electric cables and reinforced concrete would be the other thing steel beams we actually have quite enough so let's just check it out the last two productions that we need that is the electric cable factory here this is very bad for air quality overall and otherwise it should be fine then we have a caoutchouc plantation so that's a bit of honaleros uh that's one minute and 30 seconds it's one to one ratio it should be fine and we can have the caoutchouc of course next to the other plant that we have in this area because yeah they complement each other right so let's go ahead and let's use this area here where we don't have a lot of trees for that one and then i do need a copper mine i have only one copper deposit and that's here so let's have a warehouse and then the copper mine that's 25 obreros that we consume with that to take time to and then i only need the electric this. cable factory um probably here i hope it is being affected by these items that we have it is heavy weapon it's it's heavy factory right well, let's place it there the 150 perfect it's of affected course. by it so it us. does get the filter it does get the before and calciner and it does get the malnutrition effect this is quite well the same everywhere and then we have the concrete factory, which is probably the steepest production in this area. Um, we do need the limestone quarry for that first. We do have one here that already has the connection with the warehouse. Perfect. And then we just need the concrete factory. Really, really expensive stuff. It also cost me 25 of these electric cables there. And of course, 
Well, it does a lot of pollution there. Let's also place it here so it does get affected by our trade union. Okay, so phase 3 has also been completed. I just let this one run in the background now as phase 3 is really just a grind of having obreros working for you and getting the building materials done. So I was just waiting there now, basically watching it as it goes by. And we finished the phase 3. And ladies and gents, in all its glory, there is our working dam. We it's do need to how often the people here get sick. select it now. And we need to decide whether we want to begin Isabel, filling the reservoir. The and of course we want to. A mighty achievement, Isabel. The dam rises and our island prospers. Ah, and there it's filling up. And as we can see, our beautiful dam is coming together quite nicely. far more elegant than this crude giant. And this gives us permanent electricity. It's pretty hard to imagine that we actually made this one here going. We will take our inventions to other shores along with our message that no matter how overwhelming the challenge, there is always something that we can do. For the decisions we make today will echo across centuries. From the small seedlings we plant now, vast forests will bloom. And this was probably our first take on the Eden burning and scenario. Tree, yep, we have completed it. For centuries, is the tree that is represented by the logo of the Eden Initiative today. So we do get you a nice little extra text at the end of it. Eden, a perfect world. Perhaps not. No with the knowledge and technology we possess today, we can do Certainly so much more and it would be inexcusable not to try Sarmento with that dam and stuff like that. Victory at last. We do get the silver medal as we did not, uh, we were not able to get the gold, but I don't think we can make the gold in the first try. Oh, don't forget all the items that we crafted here and some of the tech is carrying over to the new game. So and the ruins should be gone as well. So a gold in the second try is much more likely. Um, we do get these uh, two items here, the Eden Burning Bronze Reward Tree and the Eden Burning Silver uh, Tree. So different colors here as we can see and we can use them now in the base game in our mega city let's play for example as they're permanent i hope you enjoyed this one um eden burning scenario you can try it out for free it is for free for all and 800 owners it was quite a lot of fun and pretty hard um same level as i'd say frostpunk probably and yeah with that stay tuned <laughs>